Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing all super well today. In this video, I would like to show you all items that I have purchased while in Europe. As you may have seen from a previous video, I was in Europe uh, for five and a half weeks and I just recently returned, obviously after quarantine in a hotel for two weeks. I did manage to visit most of the luxury boutiques. I did some damage, especially in Chanel Louis Vuitton and Bottega Veneta would love to show you all of the items plus some new designers that i haven't uh, purchased previously and uh, i found them in europe they are not available in australia before i start i would really love to thanks to my louis vuitton family that they surprised me and they're always so thoughtful especially my essay who is just really amazing and if you are watching thanks so much i just a couple days ago received these beautiful flowers as a welcome thought and i think they are just gorgeous guys i always receive flowers from louis vuitton from this company called hermetica flowers they're based in sydney i will link it down below for you to check it out if you've got any occasion i'm pretty sure you can use it if this video is not sponsored from them, I just think they are just really gorgeous and they always create something unusual, special. This video will be a long one, so please get yourself coffee or tea and we can get started. Guys, I hope you are not confused. I recorded my intro last week and in between I changed my hair color and it was not planned. Sorry about the confusion. First thought was to make a video for you of all items purchased in Europe. I just realized how long the video would be. So in this video I'm bringing you all luxury designer items that I have purchased in Europe because I thought it will be more interesting for you. However, if you are interested in the non-luxury designer items, please let me know in the comments below and I can do the video as well. I will include them on my Instagram and in my stories, so please follow me there. And definitely follow me for a styling tips and try on of these luxury items behind me because this video would be just too long if I would include the try on and styling at the end of this video. So guys, please follow me on my Instagram and subscribe to my channel if you like it. So let's get into it. Hi guys, I'm checking in with you. We are directly in Vienna in front of the Stefanstone. Have a look at the beauty and shortly we are going to go for a little shop. Before I left Australia, I reserved an item in Bottega Veneta because this item was so hard to get and I missed out on it when it first came out. I have to just tell you the Bottega Veneta essay is so extremely sweet. I will link her Instagram below because she can be contacted. They do deliver worldwide. Guys, get in touch with her. She is amazing. She also contacted me if I don't need anything else. And on that occasion, I did find out one more item that I wanted from her and she sourced it out from Bottega Veneta Mila store. Until I got to Vienna, it got delivered and I'm so happy about it. Let's get into the first item, Bottega Veneta boxes are so super sweet it comes in this little dust bag and it is that so much thought after little belt as you can see it is a really little and tiny and as you have seen from my previous uh, shopping haul i did show you the bottega veneta oversized blazer that i want to wear it with because i really like the style so that's uh, the item that i was so looking forward to the second item that she actually got from milan is in this box as you can tell from the box there are shoes 
It's not everyone's cup of tea. I already heard not nice comments about these shoes, but I really love them. What can I say? As you remember from my previous haul, I did buy the Bottega Veneta Jody bag in a beautiful pink color. And yes, what else would I buy to match the bag? Pink shoes. Here they are. I mean, as I said, not everyone's cup of tea. The leather is super soft. I own several pair of these Bottega Veneta high heels and these are just so comfortable. They are lambskin leather. The heel is 90 millimeter. This heel, um, maybe because it's a little bit thicker on the top, very easy to walk with. Also, the strap at the back is not falling off the foot. I already received questions about that. I did not have an issue with that. I took them in my regular size, 37 and a half. All my Bottega shoes are in 37 and a half. And what can I tell you? I really love them. I can't wait to wear them and style them. The next item is from Prada. You can see this little box. This uh, item I purchased in Pandorf. It's very close to Vienna and you can find a lot of designers. It's usually the last year's stock. I didn't find that too much. Uh, there is like Prada, Gucci, Dolce Gabbana, Burberry and yeah, all other boutiques. This top caught my attention because I'm not sure if you remember but I have like a blazer and matching skirt with uh, blue, red, white and I thought this would be really nice if I want to be matchy matchy. I mean with jeans this and the blazer would be really really nice. This I got in size Italian 38. I mean it's very stretchy so otherwise I'm ready for size 40 in Prada. Love this item and I'm really happy that I found it. Next one is Chanel. visit to Chanel. In first visit I bought only one item and two items had to be ordered in because they did not have them in my size. But the SS was nice because she ordered it I think from Germany and I bought two pair of shoes. Can I tell you something about Vienna Chanel boutique? Vienna Chanel boutique I show every year for the past 10 years and always not that nice experience to shop there. Please leave in the comments below if you had any different experiences, but Chanel boutique in Vienna is just not that nice experience. And I will tell you shortly what has happened. First item that I have purchased come in this box. I wasn't after nothing particular. They did have a lot of bags, iridescent, everyone wanted them mini and medium size. They all had them. I wasn't that huge fan of them but they had mini cocoa handles in various colors not the one that i wanted because i'm still after like yellow white they had quite a big stock and it is due that there were not so many travels because usually in chanel boutique in vienna there are so many people really from different countries because vienna is like a central everyone travels through vienna when they come to europe always busy first item is this scarf one side black and white and the other is white with the black. I liked it that it's a reversible and it is really nice material. It is not cashmere that can get caught on your jewelry and I usually wear jewelry through winter months as well. I do not like to baby my stuff and like I don't to want to be careful all the time or not to wear jewelry or think of it. The material is wool, polyamide and cashmere. So it is nice and warm and I think it would be really nice to the shoes that you will see shortly that I bought. I also tried and I'll show you so you can laugh as well on this picture where I tried the matching the Chanel bucket head. It's always ridiculous when I try it but it always makes me laugh so here you go you can laugh with me. It's really funny. I still can't get this fashion off but you know what some people can pull it off and they look really good so heads down to that. So that was the first visit when I got only the scarf and then the essay called me that they received the two pair of shoes that 
I have ordered in my size and she had to get them from so them. First pair of shoes come in this big box. As you can assume from the box, they are boots. And all social media are full of them. I am not any different. I really love them. And I thought it would be a really nice addition for winter. Look, I like the simplicity that the logo is so minimalistic here. It gives you still a nice high because it is a big platform. And also the logo is just here on the club city and it closes with shoelaces. I had to take them in my regular size in Chanel 38 and a half. All my Chanel shoes are in different sizes, so if I wear you, definitely try shoes for The second pair of shoes come in this little box. When I saw them, I didn't think too much of them, but then on a second thought, since I live in Australia and it is uh, quite warm weather here, I thought that would be a great addition to my collection. These little slides, they are in a creamy sort of off-white color. Definitely not worth the price, guys. It was ridiculously expensive, but these shoes I will get a big use in Sydney. Look, it's got a little detail here and I took them in size 39. I'm not 100% sure, but I think they do not come in half sizes. That's why I took 39 and they fit perfectly. I mean, they hold your foot, so very simple shoes to the beach or just with the summer shorts and definitely will use them on my holidays. With the third visit to the boutique, I got an item that I thought I would never get because I really love them as soon as they came out. However, I thought that they just don't fit me. But I love them so much that I had to have them. But guys, be the judge. They come in this little box. As you saw from my Chanel haul and I linked the video here, I bought these Chanel sunglasses, the butterfly with the chain. And I really love the Chanel chain sunglasses. The packaging is just amazing for the sunglasses. When I bought the sunglasses, I thought these sunglasses that was my actually first choice do not suit me. That's why I never got them. But yeah, I guess when you're in holiday, you've got different hormones or I don't know, different mood. I decided I will get them. They are these little brown frame, uh, brown mirror. Oops, a little bit dirty. I have to clean them. And the Champagne Gold Hardware sunglasses. They do come with chain, again with the white poles. They come with five colors, but only two colors come with a chain. This color comes with the white poles. And uh, the other type, which is like see-through, I will show you a picture here. They come with um, like a gray pole. These sunglasses, I do not care that they do not suit me, but I love them. I mean, aren't they cool? They must be definitely worn with different outfits than the butterfly ones. It all depends on the styling, but I really love them. The next item that caught my attention comes in this little box. And as you can see from the box, it is a scarf. I'm not really a scarf person. You won't see me wearing scarves that often, but I really like the color. And since I'm a color person, I had to have it. This is the scarf. I mean, it's very simple, but you know what? I have the same color Chanel 19 bag. It's like a blue purple. And I really, really love this color. It's such a rich color. I will make it work. Even so, I do not wear scarves that often, but I will definitely try to change my habits because I really would love to match this to my Chanel 19 bag. My last item comes in this big box. As you can already predict, it is a bag. Before I unbox it, I just want to tell you my experience in Chanel Vienna boutique. I've been shopping there for the past 10 years and never it been amazing or very pleasant experience. I don't know, the people there are a bit too cold. I don't know because it is touristy, boutique or why, I'm not sure. But even in my last visit when I purchased this bag, I've been there with a friend of mine. 
Ciao, Monica. Thanks for coming and accompanying me every single time when I was going to Vienna. It was really nice to show with you. We went just two people in a whole Chanel boutique and obviously the staff. We did ask the salesperson if we can take pictures. She said yes. And suddenly within a few seconds, the security came to us and was very rude saying that we have to stop straight away. Didn't get it really, especially how rude he was, uh, the way how he spoke to us. We've been in a boutique for another at least half an hour, you know, with the payments, going to the shoe section, checking out the clothing because I try a few items as well on. He was following us. He was behind us the whole time, like three meters from us. It was just not nice, not comfortable. I did not enjoy shopping in Chanel Vienna boutique at all. Guys, if you had similar experiences or you were very happy in uh, Chanel Vienna boutique, please let me know in the comments below. I don't know what I'm doing wrong for the past 10 years, but mostly I'm meeting nice people and sales associates everywhere else. It's just the Chanel is, I don't know, I'm tending of not finding uh, nice people there. So let's go to the back. I didn't really know what to get. At the end, I realized since I'm not working, I am going quite a bit to the beach or to the coffee shops and I need to bring my laptop with me when I'm doing my stuff. I need it like a little bit bigger handbag. I did own the Devil handbag in a large size. However, it was a big disappointment because I actually wore it once taking a pictures for instagram let's see after one year of sitting <laughs> on my shelves i just decided to let it go it was in this beautiful pink color pink lover right i will show you the picture here it was really nice but i don't know i just felt the bag was carrying me instead of me carrying the bag i am 172 centimeters tall so i thought i could pull it off However, I always felt that the bag is just humongous. I just didn't like it. When I saw this one, I decided to grab it. And I already wore it twice. So it is already improvement. Look, I think this color is also great. I want to wear it casually, mostly with denim. And I thought this would be really nice with denim. It is like a denim a blue color with like a light blue it's very simple one department as everyone knows the small the real and it's got two pockets on one hand side and other zipper pocket on the other what can i say to you about our bag everyone knows this bag by now love it and i will definitely get somewhere out of it or at least much more than my first devil in pink color guys that was it from chanel then i visited louis vuitton twice. My first visit, I didn't find anything that caught my attention. They had some ready to wear, but not my size or the coat that I was interested in. There was just too short sleeves. And if something does not fit, just do not buy it. That's my whole deal. I liked only one pair of boots. I will show you the picture here and I put them aside. I was browsing the Louis Vuitton website and found one bag that I thought would be quite nice. Did not think too much of it, but I thought, you know what, it's a bit different to the bags that I already had. I asked for it, however, they did not have it in stock. Well, I told them that in two days I'm leaving, so if the bag can't be there delivered tomorrow, I can't actually get it. So they promised me they can organize and uh, transfer it from Salzburg boutique to Vienna within 24 hours. I took the risk, they organized the transfer, and the next day I was just waiting for the message. <laughs> it was actually one day before my departure and I knew that on the day of my departure I will definitely not be able to go to Vienna pick up a bag. I was a little bit stressed but you know not too stressed. The day before the departure she promised to message me when the bag arrives to the store. 
In the morning, she did message that the bag is still not there, but at lunchtime, she messaged the bag has arrived. I had so many things to organize the day before my departure that, yeah, I picked up a friend of mine and we arrived there like half an hour before the store closure. I nearly missed it, right? But on that day, they received a few pieces from 1854 collection. She was so nice to show me the pieces that arrived. From ready to wear, they actually did not receive any pieces on that day. I picked up two pair of shoes and I will show them to you now. First pair of shoe came in this little box and I'm not sure if I told you, but I am a Louis Vuitton sneaker lover. I love their sneakers and they are the most comfortable sneakers that I've ever worn. I love the ones with a thicker platform. When I saw these ones, I could not resist. Look at this. They are from the 1854 collection in this Bordeaux color and I thought it would be a great match to uh, my Bottega Veneta shoulder pouch in Bordeaux. They are the same like sort of color if you saw my previous haul. I had to actually size down half a size. Uh, so these ones are in 37 and a half and usually all my Louis Vuitton sneakers are 38 but they are the thicker platform, a bit thicker than this. Maybe that's the reason why uh, I've got these in half a size smaller. Not sure but I really like these ones. So the next pair of shoes come in this big box and they are boots as you remember i showed you this picture of the boots that i was after and they put it aside for me i thought they are so simple nice black boots very thick platform you can wear it with dresses and denim the boots had just a little monogram canvas like strip at the back i really love them they reminded me on bottega veneta boots you know that are so popular but the Bottega Veneta, they are so heavy, so heavy, I just didn't get them. When I tried these one on, the whole store, even my girlfriend pressured me to take them because they really like them. Also from the 1854 collection, black and white remind me of Christian Dior, you know, with the material combination. And they have the round toe. Again, a little bit of a heel, not too much, but it's all right. And they can be styled different way, you know, like the, the models uh, only tie them up up to here and this is open or you can tie them up right on the top. These I had to actually size up, half a size. I'm not sure what Louis Vuitton does with the sizing, but yeah, really like them and I can't wait to wear them, obviously, in Sydney. We're coming into summer, so... <laughs> I will have to wait a little bit to wear them. I kept the best for the last and it comes in this little box. And this is the bag that I was worried that it will not arrive on time. As I said, the Louis Vuitton staff was super, super nice. They even stayed behind because I was shopping for like one hour after the closure times. I apologize to everyone there. But they were so, so nice. It comes in this dust bag. As you can see already from the dust bag, it's very different to the regular dust bag. It is exotic skin, not for everyone, but it was the only bag that really caught my attention. It is the Twist Mini in Python. You see the gold, it is not very the yellowish gold, but very settled gold with pink detailing. I'm not sure if you can see it in the camera, but the twist has still the sticker on, so sorry about that. And that's the inside. Look, even the little mirror has the detailing of the Python skin, so that's very cute. I've got the twist in PM size in white epi leather, and you just can't destroy it. It's amazing leather, especially for white bags. I'm always worried about white bags. I've done a good choice to get the epi leather in white. Uh, I love it. It fits so much stuff. I was a little bit worried with this mini, but when I tried it on, it fits uh, iPhone 11 Pro Max. That's the most important for me and uh, all the essentials. Uh, for me, if the bag does not fit iPhone, forget it. <laughs> I will not get it. I like to have my hands free. 
I am not sure how to take care of Python, so I can let you know later. But this is something different that I own. I do not own full skin exotic leather. It will be my first experience. But after arriving to Australia, I did find a matching shoe. So I will definitely show them to you in my next shopping haul. I love them so much and they are perfect match. I did not even think I will be getting a matching shoes, but I thought this bag would be for more uh, evening or any special occasion. So matchy matchy would be really nice. So guys, that was it from my European haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If yes, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. I would also love to hear your thoughts on the items that I have purchased. Please leave them in the comment box below. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my next video. Have a lovely day guys. Ciao.